Shalom. Kol halayim la Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. The one of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who ruined teach for the hopeful lake. Sincere Shalom to the hopeful lake. House of David, one third is tuning into the truth and pushing the truth. With all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth where we have been scattered. Now, this is going into how Babylon the Great is having a shortage of people, particularly men, joining the military. And it's going to lead, one, one of the, the, the pieces that will lead to the downfall, down, downfall of America. Now, before I go into this one right here, this article right here in New York Post, we're going to go to here, military.com, and it says, the title reads, Even more, <sighs> lock you. Even more young Americans are unfit to serve. A new study finds, here's why. A new study from the Pentagon shows that 77% of young Americans would not qualify for military service without a waiver due to being overweight, using drugs, or having mental and physical health problems. A slide detailing the finding from the Pentagon's 2020 Qualified Military Available Study shared with Military.com shows a 6% increase from the latest 2017 Department of Defense research that shows 71% of Americans will be ineligible for service. While considering youth disqualified for one reason alone, the most prevalent disqualification rates are overweight, 11%, drug and alcohol use, 8%, and medical-slash-physical health, 7%. The study, which examined Americans between the ages of 17 and 24, read, the study was conducted by the Pentagon's, well, I should say red, the study was conducted by the Pentagon's Office of Personal and Personnel and Readiness. So, uh, this place has deteriorated its own people to the point they're even unfit to fight in their military. The Heavenly Father has put these devils in a trick bag. Mental health accounted for 4% of disqualifications, while aptitude, conduct, or being a dependent account being a dependent accounted for 1% each. Most youth, 44%, so this is almost half uh, the men and women between the ages of 17 and 24, were disqualified for multiple reasons. So Babylon the Great has deteriorated its youth to the point they can't even fight to protect the country. And now they're, they're getting immigrants, people that have no connections to Babylon the Great, no reason to fight for it. To join its military ranks is Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bars the leg, uncover the thigh. <laughs> Pass over the rivers, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So this place is going down. There's not. It's not going to be um healed. It's not going to make a bounce back. It's going to keep deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating. In these other countries, starting with Russia, is going to bust a move on this place, man. You got BRICS launching their own currency, I believe, in August or August or September. The BRICS is going to launch their own. Uh, I think it's a CBD. CBDC reserve currency, which is going to be a part of that uh, karagma, man. Like Putin said, even though Russia's not a part of the beast, Putin said that they're all pretty much, um, how did he quote it, man? He was like, they're all trying to, whoever conquers AI first wins, pretty much. That's what Putin was going into. And the scriptures... Warned us of AI, man. Merging man with machine, which is the Karagma. And you got Babylon the Great. Gonna go out sad. 
Babylon the Great's finna go outside. You got, I think it was some some type of law or something where they're, I don't know if it's a law or however however else they, they put it together. But a, a, a flag should never fly on the same level as a U.S. flag unless for religions or ceremony or something like that, right? And then you had the Proud Boys flying their flag or hanging their flag on the same level as the Babylonian flag at the White House. At the White House, man. So that shows you that this place is through, and the whole world sees it. This place is a joke. This place is a joke. These Edomites that see this place as a joke is getting ready for war. And the Edomites that are uh, that that don't really see it, but they know it's in a bad state, they think America is still strong enough <laughs> to fight against uh, Russia or the world. But guess what? Babylon the Great is going to get jumped. It's going to get jumped. It's going to get. It's going to get um, wiped clean, mainly by these nukes. But the U.S. will be invaded. That's a fact. That's in. That's in the scriptures. All over the scriptures. In fact, let's go to um. This is Isaiah forty-seven and five. Sit thou silent and get thee into the darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance. So the heavenly father caused Israel to be uh, humiliated and destroyed. And their names to be wiped off the earth. Right? This is verse 8. Therefore hear now this. That thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly. That sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. And this place is going <laughs> to know the loss of children. These Edomites are going to be annihilated. And the rest of the, these people that are left in Babylon and Great, that's not a part of the elect. But these two things shall come in, come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. And that's talking about the nukes uh, completely annihil annihilating this place in an hour. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. And this is the great pride. Babylon the Great is the, is the great pride of these devils. These Edomites, they, they they take. That's why you have um, make America great again, Pride Month, and all these other prideful, boastful, arrogant holidays and sayings and adjectives about America. And yet this place has completely deteriorated. There's videos all over the country of it looking like crap, man. Homeless people everywhere. All right, and there and these homeless people are from what I've seen. The majority of these homeless people look like Edomites, man. <laughs> so you, you in your own country, in your own rulership, and, and you're the ho you're the majority of the homeless, man. That's pathetic. <laughs> that is pure, pure prophetic. P pathetic. I almost said prophetic, which it is, man. It is prophetic. Now this is uh Jeremiah. <clears throat> Jeremiah fifty one. And I'm going to start at verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm, which is a healing agent, for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. And guess what? Verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So guess what? That judgment that reached unto the heaven is the, the evil, the sin, the wickedness this place has uh, done. The sins of this place have reached to the heavens. Let's see if I can get that. This is Revelations 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven and the most high hath remembered her iniquities now let me go to verse verse 8 revelations 
Revelations 18 and 8. And it reads, for all nations have, uh, let me let me start at verse, actually let me start from the top. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is become the habitation of devils, and a hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every clean, unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So this, this, you know, Christianity is the number one religion on the earth. I believe half the population is a so-called Christian, right? You got uh, the alphabet lifestyle. You got uh, uh, oppressing and discriminating against Jake and everything else in between those, man. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, which uh, goes again to the philosophies of this place. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich. Through the abundance of her delicacy. That's right. And it started with the slave trade, man. Where do you think they were sending off all those uh, crops that they was getting pretty much pure profit from? How do you think these Edomites got so rich? Through slavery. That's why they don't that's why they don't talk about slavery, man. Like like the real in depth of slavery. They'll never talk about it. Because it shows how much of, of a demon these people are. That the Heavenly Father the elect, the hopeful elect, the heavenly father, and everything that, that aligns with that, right? Yeah, how shy, the angels, we see how wicked you devils are. And you're not going to escape judgment. Let's go back to Jeremiah 51. And uh, Jeremiah 51. I'm going to scroll down to verse 30. And it reads, The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. I'm going to stop right there. U.S. military offers legal migrants path to citizenship citizenship amid recruiting shortfall. You think these, you really think these immigrants are just going to die for this country, man, as a majority? Hell no. Once Russia and all these countries bombard this place as a society goes up in flames, <laughs> guess what? They're going to go, what is it, AWOL, absent, without leave, right? They're going to go AWOL. These, these migrants. And that's the spirit, man. Is this a woman right here? Let's read it. When Esmita Spudes Badari was a young girl in Nepal, she dreamed of being in the military, but that wasn't a real option in her country. That's right. That's smart. A woman has no role in the military whatsoever, man. All right. There's no point having a woman in the military all right a woman only thing a woman can pull off all right is wickedness man all right so we, there's no point in having a, a woman in the military it's, it's retarded last week she raised her right hand and took the oath to join the u.s army reserves man you see how filthy this country is you got a heat what is it a heathen Nepal, I believe that's somewhere in Asia. We got this heathen woman coming to Babylon the Great and joining the army reserves, man. You see how delusional this place is? I think there's a photo of her. I think that's her right there. I'm not sure. I believe that's her. It looks like it appears to be a Jake back there getting sworn in too. Both the Army and the Air Force say they will not meet their recruiting goals this year. And the Navy also expects to fall short. So this place is weakening, man. Esau really doesn't have much. Esau has nothing going for him in this country. Only thing they, they, they can do now is go go set up a stronghold somewhere and prepare for this place to collapse. That's all they can do. And, and, and whine and complain on the social media. Aw, oh, man, I see I see these Edomites whining and complaining all over uh, YouTube and, and uh, Rumble and Bitch, especially on Bitch. Uh, where else, man? You see it a little bit on uh, TikTok and Instagram, but it's a lot on uh, Bitch. These Edomites complaining <laughs> about this place. And about the small hats, man, and about Jake. 
You see? Last October, the Army re-established a program for legal permanent residents to apply for accelerated naturalization once they get to basic training. So they're enticing these immigrants, these migrants, to come to Babylon the Great and get uh, citizenship uh, fast, speedily, by joining the military. Because their own citizens have been completely uh, brainwashed and annihilated by the philosophies of Babylon the Great. Ain't that some shit, man. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and uh, verse, verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. So these nobody in this military is going to even want to fight, man. All right? And this in the scriptures. They're going to be too scared. Forborn. Let's go into that word forborn. Forborn to stop, to cease, cease, leave undone, leave off, come to an end. So they're going to not want to fight, man. Let's keep reading. The mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight. They have remained in their hold, so they're going to run away. They're going to run away and hide. Their mighty, their might hath failed. So the heavenly, we see the might of Babylon fail in 77% of what, Americans, period, was it? Of young Americans, unfit to serve. So this, this is the might falling away, man. Esau's gonna fall fall back on AI, and that's not gonna work. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed. They became as women, right? Because women are weak. Women, women are the type to fold under pressure, man. Women don't fight back. The majority, the vast majority of the time, a woman won't fight back in in the, in, in the terms of power, right? They submit, and that's how this this place is going to be. They have burned her dwelling places; her bars are broken. One post shall run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another to shew the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end. That's right. All right, you're going to have this place being invaded. You're going to have nuclear missiles raining upon this place. All right, and then in between that, all right, maybe even before this, this society will collapse, right? They, I see the game plan, what's been flowing around is that, and it makes sense to the spirit that this place is going to collapse in, from the inside. And then as this place is deteriorating even more on the inside, you know, every man for himself, that's when these other nations will run up in here. All right, which which through the spirit I believe is possible, but we'll we'll see. Right, this place is on its last leg, man. There's nothing left for Babylon the Great, but uh, mass death and uh, destruction. Let's go to Nahum, the book of Nahum, chapter three, and I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at verse five. Behold, I am against thee. Saith Yahweh of hosts, I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock. That's right, Babylon the Great right now is being what? Laid waste. Verse four. Because of the multitude of whoredoms of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, Babylon the Great. The mistress of witch, witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. And what was that main, the main nations, man? The northern and uh, southern kingdom of Israel, which are two separate nations, all right? Let's, let's make that point. Israel is two nations, not one. It's only going to become one uh, when Yahushai returns, right? Now, of course, we're joined together, but we're still two separate nations according to the scriptures this is a uh, habakkuk 2 i'm in this often habakkuk 2 in verse verse 3 for division is yet for an appointed time actually man let's prove that point about <clears throat> israel being two nations because it may be a controversial take right this is ezekiel 
35 and 10. Because thou hast said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas Yahweh was there. And that's talking about you damn devils having Jake, man. There's another one, too, that I wanted. I think it's in Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel 37. And, um... This is Ezekiel 37. And I'm going to start at I'm going to start at verse 15 for them, all right? The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it, Joseph, upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions, all right? The northern and southern kingdom. And join them one to another unto one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not shew us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, This thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will make, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel's his fellows, and will put them with the, and put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in thine hand. All right, because the children of Israel right now are two two nations that are you know coming together as I speak. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and I will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. So the children of Israel just have to make that point, man. All right? Because someone may get confused. So let's go back to Habakkuk 2. I think we was at what? Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. So these Edomites are bugged out, man. You got two thirds bugged out too, falling after these devils. Yet also he, be, yet also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell. That's a cut to you, Christians, man. Okay, and is as death. It cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations. It's talking about Babylon the Great, spearheaded, controlled, reigned by the devils, man, the Edomites. And heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long unto him that lays himself with big play? And you Edomites have a, a fat tab to pay. And you're not going to be able to hold it, man. You're not going to be able to withstand this torture and this, this sorrow that the Heavenly Father is going to bring upon you. That's it for this lesson. Lord wills edifying. Shalom.